lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, before we get into your reading, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be uploading a video uh, that is going to speak about the uh, Royal Conjunction, which is a Capricorn, um, sorry, not Capricorn, Saturn and um, uh, Saturn and Jupiter Conjunction, if you guys are interested in seeing how that's going to affect uh, each zodiac sign. Definitely stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Virgo? How are you feeling? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are staying safe. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I know you guys are about to turn up <laughs> like Virgos tend to do. All right, let's see what's going on in your love life, Virgo. Let's see what you're dealing with and what your partner is dealing with at the present time or the person of your interest. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Your first card here is the Seven of Swords. Hmm, okay. Uh, you're feeling or experimenting um, almost a feeling like the partner is keeping certain things from you or not being completely honest and transparent. Uh, we also have here the Knight of Pentacles. You may be dealing with air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or um, another Earth energy like yourself, uh, Capricorn or Taurus type of energy here. Uh, we have the Six of Wands, okay, and the Emperor card. Maybe dealing with an Aries as well, okay. So what they're saying here is, I feel for some of you guys, uh, communication could have been either blocked or uh, th there's there hasn't been much communication and I think that at this point you're feeling like uh, they're not being completely honest with you uh, I do see that there could be some pride involved in this situation the six of wands uh, with the emperor card uh, you may be seeing your partner as stubborn um, perhaps they're not wanting to give in that easy um, you know with the six of wands I feel that your partner could have some type of, like, I feel ego is involved in this situation. Um, it's almost like they want to communicate with you, but they're holding back or they are. And the seven of swords doesn't necessarily mean like lies um, or deceit. Uh, this can also represent like them not being completely honest with themselves in regards to their feelings for you. Now, the partner's cards here is the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be a situation where there's no contact at the present time. Uh, for others of you, it could just represent almost a feeling like um, things were progressing and for some reason there is some type of uh, blockage some type of uh, kind of I'm gonna be honest with you guys Virgo I feel like someone just ghosted someone this could be you uh, ghosting the person or this could be them ghosting you I feel that they're not being receptive to communication at the present time with the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles I feel that they may be very focused in their work um or in go like going towards goals i think that love may not be something that they are ready to either embrace or to commit to um three of pentacles and queen of pentacles is you know wanting to find uh financial stability and with the ten of swords here there's like an ending uh some type of ending in regards to uh, love with the Knight of Cups here. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that you are dealing with the person that at the present time doesn't really feel like they can put in uh, or like they can uh, make the effort to try to continue uh, this connection. But I feel that it has more to do with like what's going on in their life. Uh, again, like I said, they could be actually uh, dealing with financial difficulties or <clears throat> because these are the cards that represent your partner and how they're viewing you. So I feel that for some of them, they could be seeing you as like 
like flourishing, like you're doing so good financially or like you're going towards your goals and aspirations. And this could have like created the insecurities that they have to come up because I feel that for some, it could be that they're feeling you're too good for them. Um, but here's the thing. When you're feeling like you're too good, like the person you're dealing with is too good for you, we do one of two things, right? We either step up our game. Um, we do what we think is expected of us in that connection or we run away. And I feel that they're running away. I feel that they're not mature enough to want to put the effort or to step up their game you know, to, to up their game in order to be able to meet you halfway. So again, you may be dealing with immature type of energy for some of you guys. Um, you're dealing with the person that perhaps they're on the pursuit of their career or to, um, to achieve certain goals. But I definitely do see some insecurities coming up. Uh, and that could be why we have the six of wands here with the Emperor card. There is ego involved. Perhaps they feel like you're doing better than them or they feel that financially you're becoming more self-independent, Virgo. It's almost like, and I want to say for the past couple of months, I've been noticing Virgos really stepping up and like you're definitely getting into your empowering type of energy, very focused, determined, wanting to achieve goals, um, a lot of expansion for you guys. So again, it could be that they're just not used to seeing you this way. Uh, and, you know, seeing you more empowered, seeing you more independent, um, you're becoming stronger, Virgo. And I feel that, like I said, when we feel that our insecurities are kicking in or when we feel like, you know, this person has their shit together and we don't, um, it, inspire, it inspires us. It, it makes us want to take it to the next level, to up our game, to feel worthy of the person that we're dealing with. But I feel that they're not doing that. I feel that they're trying to run away from this connection because they don't want to take either self-responsibility or they don't want to deal um, with the pressure of feeling like they have to prove themselves to you. Um, yeah, because with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're waiting for them to communicate or you're waiting for them to reach out underneath it we have the queen of pentacles so they're stuck or they're stubborn in their ways and the ten of swords you know um it's kind of like being if you can see in this picture it's like they're being submerged underwater but they're not really resisting they're not moving they're just still so it's like surrendering like giving up before it even goes to the next level you know what i'm saying it's like they're running away from either the connection from either the responsibility or perhaps for some of you guys it could have been that you pretty much made it clear like if you know that you're not about wasting time and you're not about wasting or playing games anymore um and i feel that they definitely instead of wanting to like i said instead of them wanting to uh up their game they're just not they're just not trying to do that, you know? Now, I was shuffling the cards, and we have two cards that popped out here. Um, we have door to value. So I definitely feel that for you guys, um, financially, there's a lot of possibilities for you guys. I feel that you guys are doing more or are going to be continuing doing more than you've ever done in the past four years. With the door to value, this is speaking not only about finances, like really taking it to the next level for you, but it also speaks about knowing your worth, knowing your time, the value in your time. And that for some of you guys, it could be that you're very working hard towards goals. Uh, you're working hard in your job and you've come to the understanding that, you know, wasted time is worse than wasted money. So it's like, I'm not, you know, if you're not going to be putting effort or energy, I'm not going to go out of my way to try to put you in my schedule to give time to you if you're just playing games. This is you realizing your worth. This is you understanding your value and not settling for anything less than that or not settling for anyone that is not going to be putting that effort and that energy the way you are, Virgo. 
and you also have the temple path yeah so i see you guys very empowered i see you guys very determined um you know really i i feel that you guys are very aware of what you're bringing to the table of what you bring to relationships and you're not settling for anything temporary or for anything that is just games you're not you're not about that anymore virgo so again i feel that if you're waiting to hear from this person i do see that they will be reaching out to you in the end of the month um however if you feel that they're not communicating or they're not making effort to try to fix or work on this relationship then it's time that you with the six of wands here and the emperor card it's time for you to take your power back stop allowing people to come in and out of your life whenever they feel like it um focus on you work on you i think that that's going to be very crucial for this month and for some of you guys if you are dealing with that type of fuck boy fuck girl type of energy what they're saying here is do not let them distract you from your goals or from things that you're trying to achieve right now. Because to be completely honest, I see this energy coming back around. Um, but I don't see that there is any indication that they are coming from the knowing this is what I want and I want Virgo in my life and I'm going to do what I have to do to make it work. I don't see that. I have the Ten of Swords here, and this is this is their energy. So the Ten of Swords is uh, knowing or understanding that that this this cycle, this connection, um, is not. There's an ending cycle, but they're refusing that with the pay. Uh, sorry, with the Knight of Cups, they're coming back around trying to offer you love, um, but I feel that they're not on the same path that you are. And I think this could be a distraction for you, to be honest. So again, um, my advice to you is know your worth. Uh, know what you deserve. And do not allow other people to treat you the way you know damn well you shouldn't be treated. Because we, you know, we, we teach people how we want to be treated by what you allow. All right, Virgos? I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. I want to wish you guys happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.